We've got uh, lots of questions about Yolamind too, and uh, we thought that uh, it's uh, good to organize a question and answer session to answer to some of those questions. And uh, please keep sending us the questions, so we are happy to answer to all of them. So first question, what is Yolamind tool? Yolamind tool is your personal AI in a box. This helps you to manage your and take control over your digital work environment. Basically, you can manage your emails, your uh, communications, chats, documents, your photos or your report writing with the help of Yolamind 2 AI. Next question, who is Yolamind 2 for? Yolamind 2 is not for everyone. It's for those who want control over their digital life. Those who don't care about it, it's not for you. If you care about your digital life and your control of that, it's for you. Why is Yola Mind 2 a dedicated hardware? So why it's not the cloud solution? How to make sure that the user has full control and nobody else has access to the information and, and to your AI assistant? I think you need to have the ha hardware basically. It has to be a dedicated hardware. It's a trust issue, it's a trustless environment. That's why it's a dedicated hardware. Do I have to take the mind to box with me when I'm traveling? Uh, no. Uh, the idea is that uh, uh, Yola Mind 2, this box, is mostly stationary uh, and you connect to it with your phone or your laptop. So when you are traveling, th this one day maybe stays home or at your home office or, or at your office and it's online. Uh, and you can connect to it at any time. When will Yola Mind 2 be launched? Uh, so we, we launched this uh, Yola Mind 2 at Yola Love Day on 20th of May, and we will start shipping in September for the first community pre-orders, uh, which is going on now. And then the, the full commercial launch will be done closer to end of the year. What languages will Yola Mind 2 support at launch? For the first community edition, it's of course supporting English, but we are look also looking to support Finnish language, uh, German language, Polish language and the Turkish language. Can I customize the AI model's responses? Yes, you can. Uh, so it works in a way that uh, you can build your own knowledge bases yourself or you can uh, connect to third-party knowledge bases. A knowledge base is a term basically for a, a database for certain specific area. For example, if you some technology, even AI, you could be uploading uh, interesting articles there about AI or machine learning. And then you just connect to that knowledge base. And then you can either start chatting about those knowledge bases and that getting uh, answers to your questions. Or you can use our report writer and write an article based on the knowledge base. Can I build my own knowledge base and offer it to other Yolla Mind 2 users and maybe earn from it? Uh, yes, that's our idea as well, that uh, you don't need to be a technical expert at all. You, you might be an industry expert in a certain specific area. And then you just kind of collect the information into to the knowledge base and you can offer it to all the Yolla Mind uh, to re, uh, users. And, and you can set up, in the future, you can set up a subscription price for your knowledge base. Can I use Yola Mind 2 without an internet connection? Yes, you can, basically. You don't need internet uh, for, for most of the local questions. Basically, when you are addressing questions about the data which is already in the box. For example, if it has processed your emails already, it has all the, your no documents, you can uh, fully use it without internet. What parts of Yola Mind 2 require Android app support? Can they be removed? Yeah, it's a good, good question. So the basic operations doesn't uh, need uh, app support at all, basically. But when, when you want to connect to your Android applications, like let's say WhatsApp or TripAdvisor or some other uh, applications you are using, then you, you will be using app support. So app support is optional, basically. Uh, you use it if you need it. Is the device single user or multi user? In principle, it's a multi user device. Uh, however, with the cur current uh, hardware specification, it supports small teams. Uh, and if we want to have a, a larger amount of people using it, we need to kind of start considering uh, higher capacity hardware as well. Can I use Yolla Mind to, pro to process confidential data 
and ensure that it's not shared with any third parties. Yes, you can. So this is how it's built basically, that uh, any confidential data in what you are handling here, any chats, everything is private and fully, fully in your control. At some moment you might want to be using a larger AI model, for example ChatGPT. We have made it possible, but it's always your own decision and then we are also notifying you that you are not in a full privacy mode anymore. But you can have, it's your choice basically, that's how it's designed. So how can teams working with sensitive data use uh, Yolamind 2 in, uh, in their working environment? Uh, this is where Yolamind 2 is exactly designed for, basically, so that uh, instead of using uh, third-party cloud services with your documentation or when you're writing together a documentation, you could uh, just share, share the documentation via Yolamind 2 and uh, this becomes your uh, team working environment in a fully private uh, environment where nobody else, external party, has any control or any access. How can my family use Yolamind 2 at home? Well, first of all, you can share your family information with this, uh, within this box, basically. So your family photos, your other data, maybe you have a family calendar or, or shopping list or something else. But you can also start working on and connecting this to your smart home environment. Maybe you can connect it to your energy management systems when if the price of the electricity is fluctuating, maybe you could build a system which uh, uh, manages that uh, your power consumption at your home. Will Yolamind 2 support multiple users and shared spaces? For example, can two people in the same household have their own private data? but also share specific information like calendars and to-do lists. Yes, that's very possible and that's one of the key use cases for this uh, Yolamind 2 is that it's kind of a team working environment as well. You can, you can work on your shared documents at the same time in a full privacy mode. Uh, you can also use our AI assistant uh, reporting tools uh, while you are working on there. But you could also use it as a family folder for your photos and, uh, uh, and documents. And, uh, and for, for sure you can have a joint task management and calendar as well. How can I get involved with uh, developing and building Yolamind 2? Uh, well, first step is to join our Discord channel. Uh, and uh, our uh, technical people are chatting there uh, and you let us know that you are interested to participate and that's the starting point. But the whole program of Yolamind 2 is designed that this is a community effort and whether you are a developer or industry expert wanting to build a knowledge base, you are uh, welcome, very welcome to join.